four here. All right, so this is a really weird video. Um, not really weird, but probably thinking, is she still sick? She doesn't sound like it. Well, I am still sick. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to put mods into your Sims 3 game. Um, because there's not enough mod uh, mod tutorials on for the Mac, and this is for the Mac, so just in case you are wondering, um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, first, you double click on the desktop, click go, and then go to applications, then it should look like this. Um, Go to double click the Sims 3 folder, then right click on the Sims 3 icon, then click show package contents. Go to contents, go to resources, go to trans gaming, C drive, program files, electronic arts, the Sims 3, and then here. After um, The Sims 3, it should be catches, game, game data, and thumbnails. You're supposed to um, add another folder called mods. So, new folder and name it mods with the capital M. It's case sensitive. Um, yeah, so. <clears throat> then you're supposed to put the resource.cfg. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. It's the uh, Peggy Zone. It's a Peggy Zone uh, download that you can, um, you know, put. But it's not compatible with um, whatever it's called. It's not compatible with Mac. But it does come with the resource.cfg. Um, so, yeah. Go into the mods folder and then copy it and put it in again and also create then create a new folder called packages. Alright. <clears throat> um inside packages will be all of your mods that you download. But they all have to be dot packages. Otherwise, it will not work. It will not work. So yeah, that's the tutorial. It should work. Um, if it doesn't, then ask me any questions and I'll let you guys know. Bye guys.